Grammar bites. In this lesson, I'm talking about how we use the comma in dates. Remember that Grammar Bites is a series. This means I want you to watch all the videos so you learn all the rules of grammar. If you haven't done so already, go back and start at lesson one. Let's start with a quick review. In the last few videos, I've been talking about punctuation. In the last video, I talked about this mark. What's it called? Comma. That's right. And the comma is different from a period. A period means full stop, where a comma separates things in a sentence. Here's the example I gave. The leaves are turning red, orange, and yellow. Grammar bite 13 was we use a comma to separate words in a sentence. But what kind of words do we separate? The comma is used a few different ways. Can you think of any things that you need to separate with a comma? Maybe you want to think about it or talk about it or write about it. And then today I'm going to show you one thing that gets separated with a comma. And then next time I'll tell you more. We use a comma to separate the parts of dates. Here's an example. Read it with me. Sunday, October 14th, 2022. Can you find the commas? There are two commas. Now can you figure out what the commas separate? Maybe it would help if we looked at the different parts of the date. So can you find the day of the week? Sunday. Sunday is the day of the week. Where's the month? October is the month. What is the date or the number? 14 is the date. And what is the year? The year is 2022. Now remind me, where do I put the commas? I put a comma after Sunday and a comma after 14. You try. Add the commas. Now check. Did you put them in the right place? Let's try another one. Where do the commas go? You try. Okay, let's check. Did you get it right? We put a comma after the Monday and after the 7. Now I'm going to tell you the rules that go with this. Here's Grammar Bite 14. We use a comma to separate the parts of dates, to separate the day of the week from the month, and to separate the date, or the number, from the year. Here are the examples to help you remember. Okay, what do you remember from today? We were talking about the comma, and how the comma separates different parts of a sentence, and we use it in dates. Next time, I'll show you some other ways we use the comma. Thanks for learning with me. We'll see you next time. New videos in the Grammar Bite series will be posted on Thursdays and Sundays. Remember to subscribe in YouTube. You can also find my videos for free on my website, www.mycanadianenglish.com.